Sometimes we think the Lord is going to come. You know, we think he's going to come when it's a whole lot of, when a choir sounds sweet. Hallelujah. When people just, but God might show up right here where you are. Hallelujah. And his glory might come through right where you are today. And he might say, I want to deliver you and pull you out of your mess right now. I want my glory to rest on you right now. The five wise virgins, hallelujah, there was ten of them. And they said they, the five, five of them had they all, but the other five didn't in the, in the bridegroom tarried at night. I'm assuming they, they probably thought he was going to come in the morning. Slothful. Hallelujah. But you got to be ready. You got to be prepared, Lord. I'm expecting you to come through right now when people don't understand what I'm going through in my mind. When I can't tell my friends nothing. Hallelujah. God, I want you to rest. Ah, y'all gotta understand. He he might not come when we when we got a million people in a choir. He he can come right now. Expect it on today. Expect it, Lord, for your glory. I, I, I said I wanna sing that song, Dion. I, I wanna sing that for your glory, Lord. Hallelujah. I'll do anything, Jesus. I gotta let this man go, God. I'll do it for your glory, God. I gotta let my friends go, Lord. I'll do it for your glory. I'll do it, Jesus. I'll lay down these bad habits, God, for your glory. Uh, come on, we can, we can, we, anybody else expecting God on today? Praise anybody God. else? Come on, stand to your feet, praise God. Hallelujah. For the word of God on today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now you're going to be in the hands of Pastor Harry Peoples. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, come on, say hallelujah. Put them hands together. God is keeping me. Come on, help me say it. God is keeping me. Anybody know? God is keeping me. 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 Well, you already know, know the song, so I'm going to make me some verses up. Come on, say hallelujah. Why, you had to give your neighbor right there next door to you. Give her a hug and a big shake. Say, I'm glad to see you. And that she has poured this ointment on my body. Somebody said, my body. She did it for my burial. Verse 13 said, Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. Now, look to your neighbors and neighbor, alabaster box. We have to understand the concept of this thing so we can get a true picture of what he was trying to say. So in order to do that, you got to roll all the way back to Matthew chapter 25th chapter. Matthew 25, just flip over one book. So now only the goats are on the left side, but the sheep are on the right side. Let's see the reason why. What well, verses 34 says, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Now, here's the deal I want you to understand. Before you even get born, before the earth was created, there was a paradise already created for you. And this is why I tell you, it's important that y'all had failed because if there was no fall, there'd be no paradise of deliverance. Y'all didn't get that, did it? If you hadn't failed, you wouldn't even be here at church today. If you were living good and living holy and doing everything you could do, there'd be no need for me. I'd be st I'm still a free preacher, but I'll be free free because, you know, I don't have anything to do. If all y'all save and fill with the Holy Ghost, then there'd be no need for my job. Yeah, I'd be in an unemployment line. Come on, looking for some singing lessons or something. But the idea of you making a fall every time and coming to church gives me a reason to preach. Somebody say, alabaster box. So the sheep that are on his right hand it's partakers of something. And let me show you the reason See, why. the church has been fooled all these years to do everything except what God has called them to do. That's the reason why 20-something years we've been in street ministry. 25 years we've been in prison ministry. We've been in hungry. We've been in shelter. We've been in ministry like this all since I've been working the ministry. I am not going to do nothing different than what the right hand of the sheep is supposed to do. Number 
one, feed the hungry. When I started the church years ago, they came to me and said, wait a minute now, you are giving away free food every Sunday when we can sell fish plates or we can, you know, come on, we can have fish fries. You know how much money we can make? And I said, that's fine, but God told me, feed the hungry. Y'all ain't talking about nothing. So the thing about the alabaster box is there's a purpose for the box, and we're going to find out what it is today. Come on, Don't look at the alabaster box. We want to see what's in that joke. Come on, say hallelujah. Well, if they're thirsty, give them drink. That's the reason why you see pastor people don't turn nobody away. Well, take in strangers. There was one time we had 14 people living in our house, but it didn't bother us. We was in a two-bedroom apartment. It didn't bother us because there was a time when we had to realize, when did we not do this, Jesus? When you did it to the least one. That's why some of y'all had these great big old houses and won't let nobody live with y'all. Come on, don't get mad at me now. You got about 12 bedrooms and you won't let nobody stay with you because you, you, you know, whatever the reason may be. But what if Jesus came to your door and, and you didn't let him? Wait a minute now. Well, clothe the naked. See, a lot of times we come to church and we talk about folk that don't have the right outfit on. That's the reason why you got 12 dresses and three suits extra where you can bless somebody. Somebody say alabaster box. 